recession, stagflation. On any given day, those can be your top story. Uh, it really makes it tough to trade and invest around that, right? Yeah, and, and when you look at the market, I, I just call it a mixed bag of mush right now. Uh, there's really nothing, for me at least, that's really investable. It's pretty much tradable. You get a few days of strength and a few days of weakness. And if you think about the last five weeks, Charles, they pretty much crashed the financials. They crumbled the energy stocks. Now OPEC's doing something, so they're rallying. They crumbled the economically sensitive names uh, last week in a very big way, so you don't know what's next. The good news is, and amazingly, the big indices are holding up like rocks, and hopefully they stay that way. And as we get through earnings, they bust out a range, and uh, we can get some headway. It's just a very, very tough market right now. It's so frustrating because I look at our model portfolio, and one day is a bunch of stocks that are down a lot and a bunch that are up a lot. And two days later, those same ones that got hammered are up, uh, and the ones that were up are getting hammered, right? And so you, you feel like, golly, this is an odd equilibrium game, and, and it feels very, very ominous. It feels dangerous. And I know you're just, you know, like a lot of people, you're worried about the, the fact that leadership has been so concentrated in just a handful of names. So, so where, where do we go from here? I mean, could we get real authentic leadership from healthcare, for instance, or energy making a comeback? Oh, you, you never know where it can come from. And you talk concentration. I've never seen it. Uh, where the first quarter, the S&P, 160% of the gains was nine stocks, and 91% was three stocks. It tells you a lot. Look, I'm looking anywhere. Anywhere they show me great strength, great earnings. If it comes to commodities and I see commodity prices soaring, that means earnings will eventually show up, so I'm always looking for that also. It, we're just at a moment in time right now where I just think there's this mass confusion. Uh, a, valuations are up there in the trees. B, earnings in the past have been terrible. Now, I got to tell you, if the market's looking forward and seeing a real reacceleration of earnings, I think we can get going again. Because I'm pretty sure, and I've been right about Jay Powell since day one, uh, they're close to where they're going to be lowering rates markedly in the last, uh, in the next few months. And I think that could help. And uh, we'll just keep fingers crossed because all I'm interested in doing is finding just big leaders with big earnings and revenue growth, invest in greatness, companies that are doing things right. And just right now, there's just not much on, right. on the table. You know, and, and to that point, it's interesting because uh, almost everyone, I would say 90% of the folks on the street, are, you know, they keep saying that earnings estimates are far too high, which is interesting because Wall Street sets the estimates. And, and you know, they hear you say that, uh, you know, there could be a reacceleration. And I, and I tend to agree with that. I think third or fourth quarter, going to see huge moves. And if the market is a forward-looking mechanism, at some point it's going to make a move based on that. And I think everyone's going to be confused. Is that when you would start to try to make your move? Oh, yeah. And let me just answer the people that say earnings estimates are too high. They were too high. They've been brought down big time already. And that's where there's potential. Doesn't mean there's going to be. That's where there's potential for real big opportunity. And as you know, strong earnings and revenue growth are the drivers of great stocks throughout history. I can walk the, your viewers through a thousand names over the last 20 years. The consistent, be able to find companies growing 50 and 100 percent per year, small to big, whatever they may be. Uh, those are the defining force, whether it was Amgen in 1985, which went from 10 cents up to 100. LA gear out of the crash in 87 that went up, uh, I think, 14 fold in 17 months. Uh, and all those great names. We're just looking for them on a daily basis. They're just not happening yet. I have a few names that have strong earnings and revenue, but they're sitting dead. Uh, and that's because the market's very tough. One day the clouds lift and they'll just jump out. We call them, we call them basketballs being held underwater. Once you release them, they just get going. All right. Well, I'm ready to dunk a few basketballs myself. Gary, thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate it.